Okay. Good day, everyone. This is Dasetro. <laughs> Y'all welcome to today's live stream. And we are so happy having you here live and direct. Uh, we want to appreciate everyone. This is Dasetro and I have beside me. This is Joketo Luani Setro. It's a pleasure having you on this live stream today. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, just like um, we promised last week that we'll be uh, setting out on the second part of our project search to build uh, in which we are going to interior villages to discover some of these youths that have numerous uh, outstanding talents to get them raw from their villages. I tell you, it was very, very interesting one. And we just want to thank God for <laughs> mercy because actually this last travel came with a very powerful testimony because there was a serious accident. And I will tell you in the course of our, <laughs> of our discussion, uh, I had a serious accident and I can just bless God to be alive today. So he's uh, risky, he's uh, time taking, he's capital intensive, he's a whole lot, but I thank God that uh, God is still God in everything. We left, we came out on scratched. I tell you, it was a wonderful time. I will tell us uh, what happened and how it happened in the course of, uh, of our discussion today. But uh, based on my travel this uh, past week, it opened my eyes to a very serious issue that we need to attend to, which is the issue of tribalism. And I just thought to myself, since I'll be going to different places, different uh, states, different villages, and different African countries, hmm, we really need to address this because I, I sense it's not a good one for people to be just all concerned about themselves. Uh, it's not a good one for people to be just sentimental about their, their tribe, their clan, themselves, their family. Because it got to a point that I, I just thought to myself that if I'm taking all this risk to go into villages, to go into places that I really do not know anybody there. I do not have anybody there. And I'm going into places that sometimes you are on bike several, you know, several long time. You are just on bike. All you are seeing is just bush parts and the likes. And I'm taking that risk to see how we can affect the lives of our African youth positively. I don't think it's sensible for after going through those stress, even risking my life, because in this last journey, I tell you, the on the major on the highway, the car actually, the car that took us actually failed, lost control of the front wheel. The front wheel just pulled off. <laughs> the front wheel pulled off, and all I could hear was the okay, I will come to that later. But after risking everything and you now get there and you are trying to help this youth and some people are like just all about themselves. They just want to make the whole effort just about themselves, just myself, my family, my people. doesn't really count because I tell you, we that are doing this, that are doing all this run around and the likes, I can proudly tell you that we have not included any of our family members as beneficiaries to this help that we are giving. It's because it's not because there are no nobody in my family. I miss my family circle that will need such support, but it's just about integrity, it's about helping the less privileged, you know. Maybe along the line, if family, if some family members prove their worth, their wit, that okay, they actually have something that can be supported by the foundation. Yes, even in that case, we have to disclose. I'm just bringing this out because I see it as a challenge. We have to disclose it to the committee that oh, this particular person that is coming up here 
the committee needs to look at it critically to be sure that it qualifies so that there will not be conflict of interest in that case uh is actually a family member you understand that's how me i've been trained to operate as an ex-banker anything that involves your family your you know that has to be your personal interest coming in you have to shelve it for someone for a committee or some group of people to give exceptional approval so that you don't turn what is supposed to benefit the african youth as it were to family things so please i i want to just talk about this now uh picking nigeria as an example what do you think Picking Nigeria as an example, picking Africa as an example, and picking your own country, your own country, your own continent as an example. Have you been noticing this tribalistic warfare? People believing in their tribe, coming to grab some stores for their tribe and neglecting the other tribe. Because the last time I checked, the only tribe that exists is the human tribe. <laughs> so, but now people just want things to just be around themselves their family their clan oh we have someone here true life stories oh this you see this true family true life for me <laughs> i said true life family <laughs> okay thank you so very much madam i would love you to chip in 18 or two and if you want to join us in this conversation i don't just want it to be a one-sided conversation i'll be very very glad to have you come in, there is a link that I think I've shared the link here for you to join us in the studio. I would like you to join us in the studio right about now so that we can, you know, we can talk or you place your comment there because the worst thing that is killing Africa, the worst thing that is killing Africa is this issue of tribe. You know, people are putting incompetent jokers to rule Africa based on tribe. People are putting the wrong set of people to end parastatus because of tribe. People are putting the wrong set of people to, to be in charge of power because of tribe. Tribe should never be something that should determine placement, to determine uh, support, either from organization or uh, support from wherever. Resources, uh, the general resources of people should not be committed into the ends of people because they belong to your tribe. And that is the problem of, of this world. And uh, administration of the rule of law should not be based on tribe and the likes of that. Let me tell you, um, uh, in Nigeria, I'm from the Western part of Nigeria, in Africa, West Africa. But I tell you that I kept on mentioning the best performer, the best performances on in in this our program and i discovered that till date it has still remained if the go balls change tomorrow i'll let you know till date it has still remained the little girl from the east that has been the best the most resourceful you know she proved her wit you know understand and now there is a stiff competition there is actually a stiff competition now we have um, uh, Edo, Edo State coming closer because the best performance is coming from Imo State. But now we have a stiff competition. The lady, the village uh, lady that is making bags is drawing closer to the one in Imo State. She, you, you can see that stuff now. So that's giving fairness because the lady down there in the village in the eastern part of nigeria called emo state she has continuously wowed us with great products great you know the little resources we have used to empower, empower her she has, i i want you to talk to that <laughs> yes the little empowerment we've given her she's just on top of her game she's always proud of it you just check her WhatsApp status. She says, I'm proud of what I, who I am. I'm a street seamstress in making. She just, she said, over, overjoyed, they worry me. The other day, that was what she posted on her WhatsApp. As in, she was posting her status. She said, I'm too joyful. I'm happy. As in, you just see it in her. And she's coming out with new designs, training herself. She ended uh, the, the female training. She enrolled herself for the male training. And 
she's just going on and on and on and she's getting excited and she's coming out brilliantly with different things in it and we, we we've not seen her for once the last time we spoke for once we've not seen her we've not spoken it's we've just been communicating via chats and all the like so the last time we did video call to her and you see tears of joy coming out from both of our eyes she was just nervous I say, ah, 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 this is my parents. Or, you know, it's like she lost her mom or so. She, has, she, lost, she her lost her mom and it's her dad. Her dad is not well to do, but she, she just reached out and said, please, if you help me, I'll be great at this and this. So we're just like, she was just, he said, is it these people that, and it's, it's just everyone on this uh, platform that has decided to be and help to all these African youths that you've not even seen for once. And the joy was just too much. I think that joy is what to live in. I was just like, look at this wonderful girl. And uh, before we even say it, we were doing compilation last week for, you know, we give reports every time, maybe yeah. every quarter or sometimes within the quarter, we can give two reports. So we're just compiling the reports of people that send in their work because how you grow on this scheme we have is that you must send in reports of your work. It's not a government thing. It's not that the money is there. It's just that some few concerned humans all over the world are coming together to say we are interested in African youth. So we must prove to them. So we just don't give the little resources uh, at our disposal just to anybody. You must prove your work that you are really working. So we must see your work. And we have the evidence. Some persons at times, they will think they can deceive us, mm -hmm. not knowing that we are already trained professionals in what skill you're learning because and that's why when we started out it was not even easy for myself and my husband because we had to learn different skills we never even knew that this was what we're going to be doing uh when we finished from our, our schools uh university and everything my husband was working i started we started learning different skills fashion uh shoe making these that different skills so most of these youth now, when they want to give us reports, if you're giving us a false report, we're going to know because it's not just that we're just maybe uh, book people. We don't, we are not part of the craft team. No, we are part of the craft team. So if we see your work, if we see your craft, and you're not the one doing it, we're going to know. And there is no that was <laughs> there is no uh, in Africa we say boju boju in Western Nigeria there is no cover up there there is no cover up so that is it and uh, so she's just before we were just trying to compile uh, those that are performing she just sent in her work just uh, we didn't even call her so she just sent in her work and so many of them in different crafts they've been in fact the competition is high now and the thing is becoming interesting and you know why I'm happy. It, although it's painful, at times you just sacrifice your life, your everything, even your own convenience, your children. Most persons, when they see us, Centrist uh, Foundation, doing this, they think we've got all the old money in the world for the now. And I pray, <laughs> do you understand? For the now, they think we have all the old money in the world. And so persons will say, come and rent house for me. <laughs> let me. Let me come in there. You know, actually, someone, <laughs> it's not even someone, some persons, some persons, we're coming. I'm seeing some funny, funny <laughs> stuff, some funny requests that uh, uh, Cetros Foundation, Cetros Lord, kindly help me uh, to come and build my house. <laughs> to come and build your house. For God's sake, we still live in rented apartments. Uh, you understand? Please, let me continue. <laughs> we, 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 we live in rented apartments. If if it's to come and build your house that we are here for, that doesn't make any economic <laughs> sense. We are not changing nothing. We are just, we are just uh, playing the fool's game. Is that yeah. your house going to house all the African youth? Yes. Is it going to be the uh, Central Foundation Hub for all African youth to you, come you can and be working there? Mm -hmm. So it's if it's because maybe they saw that we rented a shop for a village girl in uh Abelkuta, western nigeria so they thought maybe if you can rent shop for someone that means you can actually be giving us houses if you see what that girl has made out of that shop that we rented for her she in fact you you are going to see the video if you see what she has made out of that shop that we rented for her you'll be wowed a little girl that she lent a uh, hairdressing and she's made out great thing out of that shop that was uh 
rent it to her and she's even helping other african youth so what am i saying so it's what it's going through the pain when you see the people when you see the lives that are being changed when you see the african youth and it's about becoming a up right now because we are just waiting for our physical location we've been canvassing for this our physical location whereby we have all these youths that we've trained they come you need uh, a organizer you're going to see a organizer to help you with your the tires of your car you need a plumber you're going to see a plumber you need uh what's it called a seamstress you need a barber you need a ketra you need uh any any skill you need you just come and you say <laughs> It's just a one stop uh or uh, one stop shop and it's gonna be great. Let, let me quickly uh say this about I just came back from uh some kind of villages in Oyo states. I just came back from Oyo states and I if I must Oyo tell state you is where? uh Ibadan, Oyo State in Nigeria. I just came back from Oyo State in Nigeria, West Africa, uh in a particular the largest city in Africa called Ibadan. You will see the video we had we had so much video i think uh, someone is here let's quickly acknowledge her elijah alice is here from edo state i'll i'll just stay tuned i will be uh calling you up you are going to be talking soon so you know what i experienced at that place this what we are actually doing is becoming bigger and better every day i tell you because down there at Oyo State, we had fun time. Please draw closer. We really had a fun time at Oyo State. When we, on getting to Oyo State, we had youths and their parents already waiting for us. I was like, this is massive. They came with their parents. We now have to start begging them that the parents should go, <laughs> that the parents should go. They should just leave their, their, youths for us and the likes i really want to appreciate uh those that helped us in organizing or your state down and i'm using this opportunity to beg every one of us that are following us on this platform if you want us to come to your country if you want us to come to your village if you want us to go to some countries you want us to go to some villages kindly reach out to us because we are very 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 happy we'll be very happy to do so and you need to help us arrange this youth down and this uh goes to christily christily that is uh going to be handled handling uganda uh what was it called that's going to be handling togo and cameroon for us so uh i trust you in that what we saw at uh at Ibadan, it made our job so easy because they've already prepared the mind of the you come and see how they were calling they were calling everybody they are come oh this and this and this i just i just i was just so so happy yeah yeah yes mother true true life says togo. togo yeah, yeah. christina is in togo uh, uh she's in togo but she's actually a native uh as a country of origin is uh What's the name of that place I just mentioned? Is it Cameroon? Cameroon. Cameroon. Uh, the husband is from Togo. That's why she's based in Togo. So she's going to be uh, uh, helping us with both countries so that we'll travel down there and assist this youth. And I tell you, me, I, I'm, I'm fulfilled. I'm feeling fulfilled because I get to these places and you see the welcoming spirit. Then the following day in uh, the larger city, uh, in Africa, in Ibadan, uh, what actually happened was that they took us to the village, a very, very primitive village. And I saw youth. I saw serious and unserious youth. <laughs> I saw serious, but the good thing is that I saw more serious youth yeah. than the unserious ones. And I can tell you that we're so happy that right on the spot, they brought, there was this little boy, you'll be seeing the videos very soon. There was this little boy they brought, he's about uh, 16 years old. The mom and dad all dead. The mom and dad all dead. From eh, from the head to the toe of that boy. Oh my God. I I was just, in my mind, I didn't show them that I was crying in my mind, in my mind there. I was just looking at the boy everywhere was white you know like a boy that has not taken his bait for long the boy was not looking well kept you know it was the grandmother 
she saw us talking to the youth in that village. She saw the, all the this thing that she was. So I just looked back. I just saw one woman. She herself she wasn't looking well catered for. You know, she carried a baby at the back, like a like a newborn baby, like you know, like maybe a year plus, maybe about a year or so. The baby was still at her back. The mother of that baby is the mother of this the boy. boy. The mother is there. So the woman just came. She was looking so curious. She was looking at us while we were talking. You know, that's why we need to talk about tribalism. I'm not, I'm not from that tribe. Those are not even from that village. I'm, I'm from somewhere very, very far. But I left my family. I left everybody here. And I traveled all the way down to that village. It was on the road to that village that we had an accident. The accident was so serious that I'll, I'll come to that. But talking about this woman, I just saw pain. All of a sudden, I saw her leaving the place. I was like, ah, is this one just coming to look at us or what? Not knowing that she was running home. She actually ran home to go and bring the boy. When she brought the boy, you will see from, her, from the boy's hair, you know this whitish stuff? on a boy that has not been taking his bait regularly, like somebody that is, oh my God, like somebody that sleeps in the mud or something like that. I, I can see that on the head of the boy. Is it blisters, they call it? I can see it on the head of the boy. Everywhere was just looking, ah! When I saw the boy, he was the last person that came. We were already, we have already selected the people that we want to pay for their training. And, you know, the villages were like, ah, is it true? How can somebody just come to your village and instantly they are paying for your village, uh, for for your youth, uh, this thing, for the training of your youth? Is it true? By the time they saw that the first person, we've already made transfer for the payment. Bam, the, there was a little get there. I will come to that. That was that. They started packing on their children, <laughs> calling on their children. Please stop. Even people that were in school, they started calling them and, you know, I really appreciate everyone here that has made that happen. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. We appreciate what you have been doing to help us go into these villages to go and change lives. When you see that story, you will laugh. When you see that video, I just posted one of those videos um, yesterday. The video I posted yesterday was in that uh, largest city in the Badon. I, I, I think I will play it in the course of this uh, stuff. In the course of this, I discovered that girl. She traveled from another state to this particular state. So the good thing about this young boy is that before we left that village, before we left that village, this boy is not from my tribe. This boy is not from my village or what have you. But before we left that village, we asked the boy, what do you want to learn? He said, Vulcanizer. I said, what? Uh, vulcanizing. Vulcanizing. I said, what? Vulcanizing. We are paying for your training now. We took the boy down there. We paid for his training. And you know the beauty of it? In six months' time, we agree with the boss that in six months' time, we want this boy to graduate. So they are expecting us back in the village in six months' time because we have a series of youths that we paid for there. They're expecting us back there to come and do what? Do uh, their freedom, bring their, graduation. their uh, do their graduation, bring their equipment, because that's what we promised them, that we're going to buy all the, uh, uh, what's it called, the equipment and the lights. But let me tell you, the boy, instantly, I can see the boy's life changing. See the smiles, the boy that was strong like this, like, you know, when you have gone through a lot of stress, life is difficult, and... Very short boy, you won't even know that he's up to 16 years. It was, it was looking like 10 years. I, uh, what is that picture? I, I think I have, I, okay. I think I posted YouTube. the picture on on this the, uh, the post. The post. Just check the post, you will see the picture of the boy. The instantly the boy started smiling like like he won a jackpot. And I was just like, we have not even started. Okay, true life, uh, true life story. Uh, Madam, true life story is clapping. We the clap goes to every one of us because we made it happen on this channel. We are making things happen, we are changing lives, we are rewriting story, and there is a lot of way you can support us. 
by liking every video that we upload, by sharing every video that we upload. And when I mean share, you continue to share and rebroadcast to your group, to your people, tell them to follow us. Even if you do not have money to support the project, you can support by sharing, by liking, you can put it, by sharing, by liking our videos. I tell you, that is a great, that is a great, great uh, support that you can do for us. And for those of you that want to support us in terms of monetary value, you can support us through our, what is it called? Our PayPal. You can support us through, you can support our project search to build. The project search to build is the fact that we will go to these villages, the, the forgotten villages. We will go there to pick out these youths that could have been- uh, yeah, Wait, wait. Imagine this boy, I was not there with him. I didn't go with him on that trip. <laughs> but when I saw the picture, imagine this 10, uh, 16 year boy. 16 year old. 16 year old boy. <laughs> Whoa. Chimbara, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can imagine this 16 year old boy that is an orphan, no father, no mother. And the grandma was still carrying the younger sister that the dead mom left. Hmm. And uh, where, where on earth can that uh, grandmother see phone to do, you know, the <laughs> the obligation, the, the, the process in Central Foundation is that before we do an help to you, offer an help to you, you have to show us pictorial evidence that you really need the help because we have a committee that vets everything. It's not just that like most projects that people will just be giving ghost people things. No, because the phones are not large like that and the phones are small we we really want to make sure that it gets to those that need it so imagine us if we've not started this project uh, search to build in which we now have to leave our own convenience just to go down to the interior villages and really see those youths that are really suffering so if we've not started search how are we going to discover this boy that the mom has died the dad has died and the boy is life is almost out of him and you know it's those type of youths that can be used for anything yeah they don't have any hope they say i don't have mother he doesn't have he doesn't have mother they can, he doesn't have they can just pay them to go and kill. kill and he said what do i have and you know you know the frustration in life i'm just so happy when you see the boy you even think the boy is 10 years please support by liking the video of that boy let's it go as in a, 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 I, will, a, a, I will do the video within the course of the week uh, because we have so much man, in that video. in fact we have even the other ones we went to and uh, that went uh, we are not even, even joining we have so many videos right now that uh, because of the editing we don't have an edit one the thing is and why we don't have an, an editor, editor is because we can't afford for, yes the salary of an, an editor, editor for, for now. now so if we can see anybody to help us if you are if you're an editor that yes, you can so. because it's not everything that is monetary really? contribution if you are a very good very editor good and you can just say oh my own contribution is that i'll be helping you to edit your video fine we'll be very happy with that or you say okay you have the money to pay for maybe six months salary or 10 months salary or one year salary of an editor because we have so many videos we have not many even cases edited. That not even <laughs> we have so, many, so many cases and let me just uh maybe as she's talking i will play the video of that lady that lady that is doing oh my god you have to that's another one you have to see so uh every word maybe you on this live stream now or you'll be watching this live stream later on uh i want to really say it's there's no joy as great as you going out of your comfort look at people like jim barrack true life madam true life story so many people on this platform they go out of their way they're not even in africa they go out of their way to help these african youths they get to support us we get to do all we can do and it's just about making life better and i'm sure the tribalism is coming in the sense that those people in that village, I wasn't there, but I just want to ask my husband because he just came back this afternoon. We've not spoken like that. I'm sure they might have been feeling that eh, they've been there first. They've been there first. Why is it that is this small boy that came last that they want to do it for? Do you understand? And that is it. They just those people they will feel eh, I'm the one that gathered all these people. Eh, you have to do me, my own, my children, my this, my that, even 
even we, we dissenters, we don't even place the convenience of our children. Yeah. As I'm doing this, my children are doing the, the different things, giving me different signs for that. I said, I have to do this like this. We don't even, it's not that we don't care for them. We care for them, but we tend to teach them that lend a helping hand to people that are in worse situations. Don't let it be that it's your own. Maybe your own is still better off. There are some people in that village that their cases are better off than that boy. But they might want it that is their own you should do first. And that is the tribalism we're talking about. That lets things go to people that really need them. As in, it's not all about government or anything. So, so don't take it like government no, side. No. It's about help. As in, it's about we, we. being real. We don't just think of we be real. See that who really needs this thing. Let it go to him. Let it go to her. It's not just that you should just be wasting the stuff and feel, uh, yes, I'm doing it. But you know that the person that really needs it, assuming they didn't help that last boy that came that wow. doesn't have a father, a mother, is is already going wild, wild. He doesn't have anything. It might be used as a tool to destroy that whole village because if they pay him now, before you know, and all the like, so and you know, the, the good thing is that we we were able to because we were selecting the most chronic challenges to pay for immediately. There were so many other people that have not been paid for, we've not been able to pay for their training. It's not that we are not going to pay for their training, but we because of the fund, we are managing the fund with us, even myself. I have to. I just want people to understand this. How I wish that so many of these people that are exhibiting some characters that might be discouraging sometimes. Because I tell you, those characters might be discouraging. Um, so many of those people. How I wish that they they even are online now they to can't see be online. to they see don't. this video. Because if you see the hotel, I purposely told my cameraman. I said the hotel. I want you to show the hotel that we are lodging in. Because the hotel we we're lodging in, even sometimes I would just be like, I would just be like, uh, <laughs> if people see this hotel, they will just be laughing. Some of the hotel we cannot, because we, we do not want to use this little money we have with us to so go and pay for good hotels there. And at the end of the day, we are now face to face with the people that need the help we can render. Some of the hotel, I tell you, you cannot enter into, the, into their bedroom without putting on a shoe. Like this last one we went to, it was terrible. It was terrible, very terrible. The, what was it called? The toilet was, uh, it got to a time I had to use hot water. Mm -hmm. I don't, my wife wants to start mentioning this thing. It, I had to use hot water to, you know, sprinkle on, <laughs> on the zinc, you know, <laughs> and the zinc, I had to pour hot water, just, I'm, <sighs> How I wish people should just know that what we are doing is sacrifice. We are sacrificing our time, the time I should have used to 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 do my own work, business, yes, to now. do my own job, to do my own businesses that will take care of my children. I'm sacrificing this time to take care of humanity around me, around the world. And I, although I'm happy about it, but people should not just discourage me by you know you are now going to pick all you know all about yourself. You are now you want it that if you you do not collect it why should others you know no no no. don't be i'm saying this not to offend anybody but even if we have not assisted you doesn't mean that we're not going to yeah, assist you yeah. we are going to assist you but you need to take time and and just wait wait you know wait when i say wait i really mean that wait and just have the mindset that when we say something and as much as it is I try to keep to our word. We try to keep to our word, and we don't promise what we don't offer, what we can offer. And that comes to another issue. Uh, you, you are trying to. That's why I love the Igbos. That is a that is a tribe in Igbo. I'm not Igbo, and I continue to talk about the Igbos. The Igbos are very, very sensible. Very, very sensible. Um, if you try to help the Igbos, they also try to help themselves fast. And I see that as a green light. Anywhere I see an evil youth, I try to help them on time because I know that within six, three, six months, they are already helping themselves. They are thinking outside Look the box. This, uh, our, what's her name now? The God of the Foundation. Yeah, yeah. That is, <laughs> that is the lady. 
called Joy. That she was a gate. That there is a lady called Joy. Okay, talk about that. Joy, the gate keeper at the bank as mm -hmm. in the cleaner and gatekeeper yeah. we just paid for our training she also she doesn't have a father her mother is old in the village nobody when she heard about the training if please just read up on her story on this channel she started crying it was at the bank where she was starting standing as a cleaner was a security a very risky job that my husband saw her she was just crying crying so the god of the foundation has totally remembered me has changed my story so <laughs> we just and rode that for a training. He said, eh? And now I'm the mother. <laughs> Before God changed my story, she just sent in a work of reason. I said, Look at this girl. Uh, the the Igbos have a to do spirit. Yes. And you know what? We were even asking her, How is she surviving? Because this is somebody that resigned from um, uh, the bank monthly, uh, uh, monthly salary to job. go and do this work. And yes. you know, we we're asking her, How are you surviving? She said, she, you understand the way she answered us, she was and not begging we, for we are money. looking at her the way we are seeing her we are happy we are happy and that's how the other Igbo girl too they these people are easterners in nigeria and they they have a to-do spirit yeah. they are always when you encourage them they have the business mind but other tribes too have to learn from that yeah we we've got it especially my own tribe <laughs> My, let me we don't be want to learn. We my, don't want to say their name. My, see, my the Westerners, they are called the Yorubas. My own tribe, they should <laughs> learn. They should <laughs> learn from yes. the Easterners. I, I really, I must say this clearly. It's not because you are my tribe, I will not talk to you. My tribe, you really need to wake up. You understand? You really need to wake up. Somebody is trying to assist you. You don't put too many load on that person. Because so, so many times we... We are even assisting you sometimes we have not even paid our student school fees i need to be just direct we have not even paid our student school fees and we are assisting you guys so you, people should not take it for granted like somebody asking me that uh, i might go go are we going to be paying them on monthly basis to go and learn something that will improve your life <laughs> am i going to be paying you to go and do a training that i paid for and at the end of the training i'm going to buy you all that you need, all that you need to start it in life no hell no that's stupidity <laughs> i must say it even if you are my tribe uh, uh, i must say the, the fact that's is, stupidity in life you get to meet we have to read around the content today in, in life you you got to meet different sets of persons uh that's why we we've always keep kept uh to the fact that we are honest and we we are conscious of our integrity on Cetro's uh blog channel and let me quickly, Cetro's let me quickly say this please uh please uh, everyone i want you to help us appreciate jim barack he just donated uh to rosbear super chat uh super Thank sticker you. uh two dollars uh please let's know that as we whenever we come online you can actually donate to us live online and uh, using our super chat or super sticker no matter the amount you support us with it will really help us a long way to do better at what we do you know we need a good camera for all these travels that we are doing we have been <laughs> we have been calling for a better camera and all these stuff we need an editor because the work is really too drone. much we need an editor and we need a drone then more as uh as exceptionally we need a physical place that we can call the foundation's own that's the most interesting thing that we need now because we are paying so much and we are going to be paying so much to train in different different places but it will be easier and cheaper when we begin to have locations in strategic places and at least let's have the first location set up so that these youth can get a place that they will gather because i i discovered that they apart from training them they also need to be mentored on how to reason we need to remove some tribal stupidity out of, out of them because uh, and i'm not abusing any tribe i'm talking to my own tribe i i need to drain those tribal stupidity out of my tribe i want to inject them with the 
with the good tribal parts of the Igbos, the West, the East, the Eastern Nigerian people, uh, you know, that are always forward thinking. If you pay for their training, the next thing, like this girl, we pay for her training. She finished the training. She used her money to pay for another training. We have to refund her of that money. Presently, now we are thinking of uh, once we have a physical place in in Lagos, Lagos, we are bringing her down to Lagos because she has proven her worth. So how can somebody be asking me if I will be giving you monthly, monthly? Don't go into is, that. It's painful, please. Don't. The, our tribes, all the tribes in the whole world in Africa, please let's let's and, try and, and work on ourselves. The tribalism. This is the aspect of tribalism we're talking about. So this person now trying to say, "Hey, I want to learn," and then are you going to be paying me monthly? Is from our tribe. Yeah. Continue. From our tribe. So if we want to be tribalistic uh if we want to take it on the basis of tribe you know that they're going to we're going to go and going to say okay and we'll be paying you at least just to prove results and in some some uh, programs that are being run they will just run the program with just the mindset of just i don't know what to say tribal about it. tribal influences and not really making the thing work not really making things go the way it should go so that's what we are actually talking about that let's try your own self we're not talking about government or anything right now we're talking about starting from your own to change the world you have to change i found to change what i have to change myself first change my family change my immediate community and that and that's it so to change this tribalism that is a nepotism or the likes like killing the world starts by making sure that you fit around pegs into round holes and not square pegs into round round holes let the right people that need things get it yeah let the right people that can do things get get there when you see somebody that is a loafer we you know we told you if you've not watched our quarterly review for this quarter please watch it about the updates of all this we told you about the two that have defaulted one is from the western part one is even from the eastern parts so it's not that it's all the easterners yeah. that are good so she's from the eastern but if you see the flimsy excuses she was giving us i told her to our face i said we are going to the uh to the world and we're going to tell them because we can't hide you and i told her i said it's not going i don't i'm not really sure she knows the meaning of what i was telling her we called her and it's <laughs> you know what let's let's go to this part now somewhere uh uh in Edo State, we have this beautiful lady that you and I know very well. Uh Elijah Halis, are you there? It's like a network is giving a challenge. Elijah Halis. Are you there? Like this particular lady, I just tried to connect with uh is she's from another tribe, but I tell you, she has proven now wit. I think she just sent she okay. just sent us uh Show the bags new set. Show the new set, new set of to bags them. she made for uh the found she made for the foundation <laughs> which we deposited for we are paying her the balance for the job done and I tell you we are so happy because our bags are now being sold to uh, outside the country Austria and mm -hmm. presently there is a request from the US for our bags so these are the things that makes us happy Fitawari Fitness, say peace fam, peace to you bro, <laughs> peace to you, we can have tribes, with, we can have tribes without tribalism, yes, tribalism is nepotism and corruption, exactly, tribalism is exactly the same word for nepotism and corruption, the tribes is not a problem, but the tribalism, the lism there is the, <laughs> is the, is the least desirable uh, outcome that anybody wants to have him or herself into. And uh, please let me quickly chip in here that as much as we blacks are complaining of uh, tribalistic warfare against us, mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. make sure that you are not at the end of the day becoming what you are what what you are countering what you are fighting against because i'm seeing some some persons building up this venom against other race you know a lot of time you see people talking about uh the the so 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 i don't want to mention specific this particular race they are not good to us they came to enslave us they came to do that fine no problem but 
when you yourself you are not forgetting about the past and looking forward into the future you are now building up attitude complex attitude against other race i tell you you are worse than an hypocrite because what you are complaining about you are actually becoming that beast and as such we need to desist from that don't just don't just generalize matters don't just generalize matters and begin to act badly to people or comment badly and, about people and the world right now you can't just generalize about mm -hmm. humans because yeah. we have good and bad in every race as we've been conversing for uh african youth at the, we should have come to tell you that all of them are angels <laughs> yes so we have the good and the bad so the fact is let the good people just come together to influence our world okay. and look away from the bad okay. that is it Jewel says mutual respect between tribes is ideal to blend tribes out of the existence so people don't have an innate identity to be seems to be seems the most cruel thing of all okay uh, you, you are speaking very complex English here. Yeah? Jewel, I would like you to dilute this because I'm a typical African man. <laughs> to understand English. And, uh, your, your, the part I understand is the mutual, mutual respect, respect between tribes is very, very ideal. We need to respect each other. And when we respect each other, we'll actually go a long way. But let me tell you, with each tribe come a special character. Five. Yes. A special character, a special trait that you can learn from the good or even you might not be able to do what they are doing in that tribe but you can benefit by association you know by by allowing that those tribes to play their major role to be an associate at what you are doing because i tell you if you are for example in nigeria if you are talking of business in nigeria and you have not included the tribe called the Igbos in nigeria that business you have not started because the Igbos they really understand what it is to do business and they do the business in such a way that even you you'll be so happy that you did the business with them i'm telling you that that there's some sometimes people might complain that they go to extra mile, but let's not look at the extra mile. let's look at the ability to run business i'm talking of legitimate business the evils have it so if you give them a platform that we encourage them to do the right thing they will give you the best of turnovers the ebos can actually sell pure what they can sell water to eskimos you know so over to you <laughs> and so that that that's that's the angle at which we want to look at the tribalism today that we should just have mutual respect for our tribes but we should do the right thing we should not take it to the level of just allowing it to get into corruption that we don't do the right thing we don't feed the right people into. but you should have the concern that whether it's my tribe that is there or not, let the good thing happen in this village. Do you understand? Whether it's my son that is there or not, if your son can't bring the desired change mm -hmm. to the village, so why why travel all the way? Why are we living our comfort, living our children, living everything? He almost had an accident. It was God that saved my family. And why do you have to live in that? Sorry. Okay, continue. We we'll now go there to make sure that it's your tribe that must do it. It's your family. No, no, no. <laughs> we are doing it so that it's everybody can be helped. The people that know how to do it well, let them do it. Let great people come out of that community. When they come out, they will come and do your roads. They will come and do your farmland. Do they you know? And... Do you know in that village we are asking some of those youth? What would you like to become? Do you know that in that thick village, we discover a boy that was interested in auto mechanics. But in that village, because you can imagine the village, is bicycle they use. <laughs> they, we had to take this boy the same day. We took him to the town, to the city center, to go and enroll him. And I'm so happy that the enrollment is already taking place. Uh, mm. By Monday or Tuesday, within this week, I'll pay the balance for the training. So this is these are the kind of people that tomorrow now, that guy might be the one to build the first car coming from that yes village. so these are lovely stuff i tell you my travel this my last travel has been so important and so interesting that's why the devil wanted to kill himself on the yeah, road he has because himself. i i i can tell you that presently now this foundation we have paid for the training of three 
auto mechanics. I'll match a five dollar super. Oh, <laughs> what? dear, which five dollars? Bara, Jim Bara. We are really missing you. This one that we are not seeing your face, sir. Oh, okay. All the best. Thank you so much. Now, let me let me let me come to this. Let me come to what Jim Bara is saying. Please, if you are watching this um, live stream, there are several ways of supporting us, supporting this our effort uh, financially. You can either support us via SendWave. You can send to us through SendWave. You can send to us through Paysta, um, PayPal, PayPal, uh, PayPal, our account. PayPal account. Or you can do this online. Uh, what is it called? You can do this online. Uh, yes online donation yes. which is true which is true super chat or super sticker now jim barak is is saying that he will match every five dollar super chat who out there with chipping five dollar okay we look forward to people supporting us thank in this you way. so it much be a great jim. deal and please anytime you come on live stream like this you can support us because it's really gone a long it's really way a great uh, work no yeah. one can do it yeah all by oh, no. <laughs> it's that's why it's a communal effort it's and that's effort. why we're, we're saying we should not go tribalistic about it as in we should not just be concerned about our own we should be concerned about real human suffering getting this help and when they get the help they will prefer solution to the world do you understand look at that boy now learning uh, organizing a, a an orphan that boy's I'm, case is really I'm, touching I'm so me proud an of orphan boy. The boy now we I'm organizing ads money or somewhere here in Nigeria. The yes, other day I took my car to the organizer. They said, Madam, the tire has uh, something, something, you know, they have stems. It's no, leaking here. Yeah, yeah. She said she <laughs> took her car. Is this car you have? <laughs> a motto. Is it motto I'm using? <laughs> you know, let people talk about this our car. The, this our car is not a car, it's a motto. Because I think mean that car is working. And that, 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 that's this. one thing I discovered that uh, because when that accident happened i was just like i did been is i did been we have a good car i wouldn't have entered that kind of a car you know those patient cars <laughs> that's what we entered though the we entered an ancient car all those small small like <laughs> like yoko moto you should have like made the, Japanese... the video that you got no, from that I will, I will show you the video from that accident, accident. because it happened so suddenly the this is the front wheel of the car just pulled you know how um on that car you on that front wheel used to pull it pulled and our on car the on the highway yeah it pulled and there was a trailer coming by, by the left when it pulled the car now turned you know it led the lane and it was turning as if it wants to go and face the trailer all of a sudden i just heard the driver shouting jesus 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 my cameraman lost control he, he was frozen <laughs> and i never knew where the confidence came i was just laughing i said i just called his name i said record this incident so record it we know on, we... on the camera and record it so he was shaking <laughs> between life and death he was shaking this one that i was saying record motorists were coming we were hearing uh other cars behind us holding brake yeah, yes now god god went to stop them. i didn't like the Holy Spirit six, went to stop them. six to nine cars six to seven nine cars have to hold their brake behind if not they would, would have, have eaten us from hey. the back and the trailer would have climbed on the on the devil on the their car. master but they don't know that jesus christ is still in charge of this life and i'm going nowhere because there are still so many youths to be helped, to be helped in this world and that's why what we do, we are only doing this to give God the reason why it should still keep us alive because we need to help so many people. If the whole world is not helping these youths, if the whole world is forgetting about these villages and all they do is when there is election time, they go there to go and give them rice and wait, to go and give them rice and uh, this thing. Then we human beings that are not interested in political power, uh, authority, but we are interested in seeing lives around us transform. We should go extra mile and to go and help this. So youth. that was I won't forget the story of that organizer. But I said the other day when we took our motto, <laughs> he said his motto. So they just told me, and there was one man there. He was learning that organizing. They said 
they just took do you know how much they said they were going to collect they said they were going to collect my maybe like two thousand naira just yeah. to fix a tar for they me pay, they pay they collect they, so that means there's money in that organizing yes, and i'm so happy by the time that orphan boy now learns this in six in six, six months, months time that boy should be able to take care of the mother and the and younger he now builds sister. a company of of organizing there that before you know it, it will make roads into that village. Yeah. Before you know it, that, that that's what we're talking about. We'll not be waiting for government has so many things at their disposal. And he, he also promised in his video, he also promised we made him to promise that he's going to train three other youths from that village in volcanizing. So you can now imagine by the time we finish training this boy, we buy in the tank, the volcanizing tank, we buy in the jack, uh, this thing remover and the likes. We'll place him somewhere and the other way we do it here in africa is we now buy him some tires to be selling tires by the side can you imagine how that boy's life will be so at eight at age 17 18 that boy will really know the value of working for money because i don't believe in just giving people money i believe in what empowering them with skills that they can use to generate income and that's okay. why we treasure every support we get from you guys whether it is send wave you are using to send it you can reach us on our whatsapp line which i've already displayed in the comment section you you can reach us on our whatsapp line you can uh, reach us via uh, our paypal account cetros foundation at gmail.com we really appreciate someone that i don't want to mention his name i want to keep his name personal he has been contributing he made a pledge of certain amount and he has been contributing to our paypal account with respect to he asked us to get a place for oh. the foundation he asked us to get a place for the foundation so please we need more people to come and join in to assist us because we need a very sound place for this foundation where we can bring these youth together display their products and help them for that i have something again yeah, yeah, i just remember now let me prepare our mind tomorrow i'll be going to see you remember the story of the twin uh, the, the, the the quadruplet you remember the story of the quadruplet the quadruplet just got a place hey, but you know yes. for that wait they just got a place they want me to come over to see the place so i'll be checking out the place if the place is good tomorrow they are going to make payment for they are going to make payment for the place and i tell you you are going to see what is happening with the quadruplet the quadruplet will be six months i think by by they lost their mother gave birth to them yeah, january and, so uh -huh. that will be in june in june there will be six months the quad june, that's next month next month gen, gen. the quadruplet will be six months the 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 mother gave birth I to the four uh babies and died fantastic and, yeah four. the fantastic four that's what we call them <laughs> i spoke with their dad which so day it was the, like the ah, they four. want to see the fantastic four wants to see us <laughs> very soon they come on this life you yeah, will see them you will see them their central foundation <laughs> baby so those are, are the, going to hand them those, those are the babies we we uh what's it called the, my wife made me to forget the english i want to borrow those are the babies the first set of uh quadruplets the first set of babies we adopted in the name of our foundation and we are going to support them till when we are giving them over in marriage because they don't have a mom because their mom died a day after their delivery so we are here we are so happy we are we, we were able to raise a fund to get uh to rent a space for them so that they can start doing business and that business will be what will be used to take care of those fantastic four so please everybody just keep, be ready to patronize, be, be ready them, to patronize them because in fact anytime you just dash in nigeria yeah. or whatever please or you tell people about them that's how to keep hope alive yeah. these four babies they didn't know their mom from day one it's just like me i don't know my dad i don't know what it means to have a dad so when you see us do these things you see we've gone through things in life i don't know what it means to have a dad in life like my dad died when i was just young although not as young as they may be like two years old my dad died it was only my mom that was taking care of us a trader not having anything i'll be hawking bread some days ago i told my children i was hawking bread they, they don't really believe what when i was small i used to hawk bread you know, hawking. I will be hawking on the street and all the likes, but we don't want these children to go through this. Okay, hold on. Uh, because I, I know what it is for somebody in the village to try to join a live stream. Elijah Alice has been by, at the back end of the studio. Are you there? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Oh! <laughs> 
I like in case you are wondering who is talking from the back end. Is the village. That, did they say this is Elijah Alice, our most beautiful married woman from the village <laughs> in Nigeria, West Africa. And um, good evening, ma. Are, Good evening, Ma. <laughs> You're welcome, Ma. Hey, I think you need to buy a touchlight, yes, though, that you'll be using to point at your face okay. when you are joining us from the village, so that people can get to see your face. Okay. Uh, well, yes, uh, you have me... a touchlight, but my children are using it. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, Elijah Halis, as you can see, is in the village. Elijah yeah, Halis no is in the village. There is no light. But I tell you, on we supported her all the while. And I tell you, she has been the second best performer. Let's clap for her. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. She's not, she's not from our tribe. She's not from our tribe. She's from a different tribe. But I tell you, she's so, 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 so. She's a very godly woman. And I bless God for her. I bless God for her husband. I bless God for her generation. She is in this village and she has been producing bags Bad. that are going abroad. That yeah, are yeah. going overseas. Uh, 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 the first set of uh, bags just uh, we just shipped it to Austria. Now, Elijah Alice, let me tell you. Hello. Uh, yes, Elijah sir. I Alice. can hear you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, what's it called? Somebody is making an inquiry concerning your bags. I think after this live stream, we'll talk about it. Uh, they want to ship it to the United States. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, That's, sir. I think you will you will wow. clap and be happy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Thank welcome. you, Ma. God bless you. Ma. Yeah, welcome. So we we mm. have that in place. So they want us to add it. The person has already purchased some things in Nigeria that we are shipping. So they want us to it's add design, maybe. they want us to add your bags to it. So we need to talk about the cost. Okay. This, person is reselling mm -hmm. in the u.s are you with me so okay we'll okay we'll discuss yes, more sir. about that but what can you say about tribalism have you been seeing people being tribalistic in your area yes yes they do it here in Edo states wow even when i when i married when i married okay. that thing was a, it was a matter when i married my my in-laws I suffer from their hand because of that. Really? Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, can we see? can hear you. Uh, they were just maltreating me then. My in-laws, mm. my in-laws, they were maltreating me because I was not from their tribe. Wow, which, can which my tribe? My mother-in-law, my sister-in-law. We, we are both from Edo State, but from different villages. Are you from Misha? Me and my husband. No, 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 I'm not from, I'm from Esako. Esako, Esako, okay. Okay. Esako, West, Awuchi. Awuchi. Awuchi, yeah. Then your I, people are, yes. Your people are mostly Muslims. Yes, Awuchi, they are Muslim. Okay, okay. Yes. Was it, on, was it so, on the basis of religion they were maltreating you? No, no, marriage, marriage. Okay. My okay, in laws. Okay. Okay. They are, because so, I was not I was not from their tribe. I'm not from their wow. tribe. So they expect my husband to marry from their tribe. Wow. So it was a matter that we just have to move away from that environment. So me wow. and my husband we have to move away from the from our village. Hmm. So they were just hmm. like they were just like saying that ah they don't expect their son to marry from another village. And we are from, we are both from Edo State, but different villages. So that, that is, is how they were maltreating me. So. We are listening. <laughs> there was a time they sent me my load outside. They asked me to go. I'm not from their side. I can't even give birth to a child. That, so, so, hmm. so, so, it's just like that. It's like that in Nigeria, it, especially in Edo State. It's like that. When you marry, and uh, maybe you marry from outside your tribe, they will start. They will start fighting. They will make sure that the woman will, will leave the house, that she will not give birth. As I tell my mother-in-law was telling me that I will not give birth. I can't give birth to a child. 
because I was not from their tribe. I should go so that the son will marry from their tribe. So it's like that. But God will, God will, God will help us. God is helping. <laughs> you know, God is this, helping. This, this your story is very, very, very interesting, and it it really corroborates what we are talking about. And very painful. That is, I was even thinking that uh, maybe. That far tribal war, I never knew is this close that even in your tribe, there is a there is a tribe in tribe <laughs> that but your husband did, did your husband try to yes. convince them? Did your husband like in try my to place convince them? in my village? Yeah. Yes. Yes, he tried to convince them, but they refused. They said no, that they wanted to marry from that village. Like in my wow. village, there are some villages in our and our side that you can't marry. When you marry them, they will place a curse on you. Hmm. There are some villages around us. You can't marry. If any of them come that they want to marry marry us, we'll say no. Because they believe that when you marry them, you're under a curse. Child. So around us, we are we are both a dose, we are in a dose state together, but we can't marry each other. We don't take anything from each other because they believe that when you marry them, you are under a curse. So it's like that. It's that. very strong here. It's very, very strong. That's mm. pathetic because it will be affecting economic development. There. Look, look at look at somebody now yes. like you and your husband. Thank God both of you went and you went away and you are in another place now. Look at in the other place now. Yes, you discovered yes. your destiny that you are talented in making bags. With these bags now, you and mm. that will be working together. You have company of bags. Yes, now <laughs> you you know now it's coming to that now. You have company yeah. of bags. Produce <laughs> bags and feeding your world. They yes. will now know you. They are going to know you at that time. You are going to become their best mm. in love. And, <laughs> and that that's our own that's, uh, that's our, our own, own dream, dream for you because so, God is going to help us. We are going to support you to the point that you are going to have. Back amen. Amen. amen amen all that we are doing is not for thank you, you. Amen. One back. what we are working on is to get you to start having a back factory that you and your husband and manage it well the whole world will get to know you because i'm i'm seriously i really need i really need the I, I would have been more happy sure. if the whole world can see your face because the whole world needs to be seeing someone like you that is trying, striving right there from the village because I if see you the, no in the nearest future, in the nearest future, you are going to have factory. Amen. Are you with me? You are going to have factory where you'll be producing shoes. Uh, okay. Maybe yeah. shoes. that. <laughs> Producing bags and the <laughs> likes of them. So, so let your training. Let your let training. all you people have to do yeah. this week. I know you understand what I'm saying. You people should do real videos and do everything. You and your team. You you already have teams coming to you now, isn't it? Hello, ma. Is she still there? Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. While while she uh, she's struggling with network from the village, I'm even yes. surprised that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm saying that this week now, when you people and your team, the person coming to learn, you should do nice video. Let people see what you people are doing. You already have been seen. Yes. That's how you will know. People will be coming from elsewhere to be working for oh. you. It's not up to you, those people. People that know the value of that yes. stuff, they become for you. So it's not those people in that village that you are just putting your mind or maybe yes. they are no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> we are talking about people that know the value of talents, of skills. They will come. And they'll come and learn. And before you know it, they'll say, can I be paid? And that is it. So you people should do real cinematic videos. See, Let's see what you are doing. Just send to us, send to us. And people will see. And you will help will continue to come. And God will do wonders. And we are so happy that this tribal oh, yeah. storm, God did not allow you to, 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 to weigh, you to weigh your destiny down now because you've discovered your path. And thank God you, you now have the children, isn't it? Yes, I have three boys. Okay. <laughs> I have three boys. Three boys. Wow, that's, that's big. How, how many years did you get to it before you start having children? Eh? Eh, it was after three months. 
Ah, so okay. it was so before three months. months. Okay. When we so married, that means it was that after three months. That you start having children, <laughs> Abby. And now that's what. She okay, said. and you can imagine. And anyway, I'm just, I'm just short of words. You it's know, after... I think you. Okay. You were saying something. Oh, your network is bad. It's going okay. to 14 years. Okay, okay, no problem. My, my, my first baby is going to 14 years. Wow, yeah, yeah. wow. You, <laughs> yes. are, you are really a big madam. Oh. The, second, <laughs> the, the second one is going to 12 years. Oh, why so, the, why so... the last one is, it, it would, the last one would be nine years this month. Wow. Uh, oh boy. Yes, this month. I'm so happy. Yes. I'm I'm so happy for you. I'm so I'm so happy for you that uh, you are finding fulfillment in your dream. Okay, everyone, I just want to take a minute to show you what we discovered the the lady we discovered uh right there in this last travel. One of the ladies uh we discovered in this last travel, she happened to be working as a bricklayer i tell you it was a pathetic story when i saw this lady something just told me that oh this this lady needs help and i'm so glad we did a very a short documentary for her please just uh, follow through this video and see what this is about and after now you can watch it on our channel we've we've made this video available Gloria <laughs> Efforts for me while I see train, while I look on train, I like makeup so more come your quiet, but you see, oh, one emotion, but a quick and on my house, or any motion shame or a bricklayer can feel your world to my feet or do my mess, it might have to survive. So, but you see, help or can't you see, no more shape or quick and wash it, it's a can feel gather or Last year, Kogi State, we must wash the shell leave bag. If any must apply the Central Foundation. Don't sit in the last year, my lord. Must the shell leave. Wait till you Central Foundation bag. The last year, my lord, we must shell leave. Wait my wife, my mate, and near Africa. Last year, Kony, he shed too much for it. We know me do last year, but the opportunity we all come in glory and must live on.
Okay, uh, just like what you've seen in the video, we are so, so, so happy with what we have been, the little effort we have been able to uh, make towards the development of our African youth. And we are continuously going to be doing this for a very long time. Maybe when we are like 120 years, both of us will still be here with like the grand, 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 grand parents. And we we'll have all this, you know, some of these youth that we are developing now, some of them would have been president of nations, some of them would have been pilots, some of them would have even become grandfathers, some of them would have been discover, you know, people that have discovered a lot of ways, different stores, ministers, and they they will be saying their stories to say, oh, there is actually these two couple that uh, came up and they set up a foundation after the death of their baby girl, and uh, they just went extra mile, just a little extra mile to discover them from the villages, and that is why. Oh, wow, 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 wow! We have Jim Borough. <laughs> Gang gang. Gang gang. Thank you. <laughs> I really am so happy for you to get that PayPal going. I remember okay. a long time ago you said it didn't work. That's great. <laughs> really great. And you're doing such great work. That last video that you just showed the, the guzzling sound. Of that in that video it was amazing to listen to it's like guzzling that was like the the best guzzling sound i've ever heard <laughs> is there somebody out there that's gonna match me is there is there somebody out there that's gonna match me five dollars in the super chat is there come on someone come on match me i'll put five dollars in you put five dollars in come on <laughs> Well, wow. you, you know the good the good thing is that we are so happy that we have uh, great people like you and so many other people, few of them. You guys are just few that are seeing what impact we could make in the life of these youth. Um, this effort started with a two uh, with two family that yeah. that supported us, Auntie. Shew and Uncle Tunji. They were two uh, family, husband and wife, that just gave us the first support that we should go ahead. They are the two family that give us the first support that we should go ahead to support these African youth. And ever since, it has been... I don't know where I'm getting the echo from. Okay. okay. I don't know where I'm getting. I don't know where I'm getting the echo from. Anyway, wow, I hate getting echoes in my video. Really 
Okay, I think the echo is from you. You think it is? Yes. Okay, hang on. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. Is it still echoing? Uh, okay. I think we should just flow. Oh, I'm still getting the echo. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Um, I can shut it on off, I guess. Okay. Okay, let me just continue. So, actually, these two, these two family came up and they were like, oh, now we should just continue the good effort we are putting out there. They were... Uh, till date, they remain our grand patron. Yes. I think they are based in Canada also. And ever since we have been striving, going to places to assist this youth, to support this youth. But let me tell you, Jim, this last travel has been the most, as in, I was thinking the first two were the most interesting one. But this last travel has been the most interesting one because I don't understand it. We got to a village and it's like everybody just came out with their children. They were calling their children. You know, they were doubting at first because there is a way that people get used to liars. They get <laughs> used to people promising and not fulfilling. Uh, that they, they just seem not to believe everything. When we got there, they were looking at us that can this be true? How can people just come? How can people just come and they want to help our youth instantly? But they were shocked when they discovered that right on the spot, we were paying those trainers because we actually told them, take us to the trainers immediately. In the villages, we were paying those trainers and that's how everybody started rushing for their family. They were calling their children back from school because we went during, uh, we got to the village during school as they were even begging us. They were begging us to wait, let their children come back from school. They were begging us that they want their children to get back from school before we go. But because of time and security reasons, we had to leave the village on time. And I tell you, they are waiting for us to come back to a place called Oyo State in Nigeria, which is Western Nigeria. They are waiting for us to come back. They, since that, uh, since that uh, day, they have been sending chats, numerous stuff. There are just so many prayers that I cannot even say amen to. <laughs> so over to you, Jim. Uh, I want to learn. Um... I know there's a lot of Muslims and and the tribalness that's in Africa. I think you know, and maybe you can help me. Uh, I did. I didn't know that there were so many different religions in Africa. I, you know, I, I I had the the understanding that there was tribes, but I didn't know the tribes used religion to also separate themselves even further. I just didn't know that. Okay, let me first of all correct the impression. Africa has more religion than the rest of the whole world. Mm -hmm. I just did not know that. Yeah, you, you would have watched my documentary uh, that I did in Abe Okuta, where I went on top of Sita. the rock. If yeah, you watch, watch that, that one. Okay, if you watch that documentary, you will discover that even in that uh, 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 on that mountain alone i showcase all the numerous gods they worship just in one spot just in one spot they worship about five to six different gods and each of those gods each of those deity they have different mode of worship even down to the worship of satan they have a place where they worship Satan. And according to that, to those believe, the people that worship Satan believe that Satan is not a God to be worshipped inside the house. Because 
He is a God that causes commotion. So they worshipped him outside the building. Okay. So they put him at the backyard. They put him at the this and they represent him with stone. Because if you want to scatter a gathering, just keep throwing rocks, keep throwing stones. So mm -hmm. people believe a whole lot. Some worship water. Some worship bracelets. There are so many. So Africa is so diversified. But that's not just the only issue. The issue that is killing people all across the world is this tribalism. It's from my side. It's not from my side. It's from my, my clan. clan. It's not from, from my, my clan. Village. It's from my village. So when, when, and the same thing is happening in the West, that some persons will say, oh, this guy's color is dark. This guy's color is red. This guy's color is pink. This guy's color is blue. The concussion, the mongoloid, and the likes of them. Those are the useless with some few percentage of people have been messing up the whole world. But we should stop it because we should recognize diligence, hard work, integrity in the allocation of resources, in the allocation of power to people. Because it will do a whole lot to help the world. It will do a whole lot to help Africa. And the other bad side is that, you know, just like I said, we really need an editor. We, we have so many documentaries that we would have uploaded on this channel, but because of time, I'm doing that all by myself. There is something I will show you uh, in a place called Badagri, the slave trade zone. I've not even edited that, those uh, raw shit. When you watch that video, by the time that documentary is out, you will understand why some Africans cannot just forgive the white race. Mm -hmm. the, because they couldn't forget about the past. And that's why my family is here. We want people to forget about the past, look forward to the future, because when you continue to hold yourself to the past, you are going nowhere. In short, mm -hmm. you will start regressing. Because when I went to that place, what I saw, what, We're I, crying. what I saw, I was crying. We that always was see this how what I went with my children and my wife. I said, was this how the blacks were treated? Was this how my own people were treated? And do you know the shocking thing is that while I was on in that journey, I discovered my father's house in that town because that's where I come from. We entered into a palace only for me to discover that my it was my uncle that was the king in that environment. And that was the point where they, they call it the point of no return. That was the place they were shipping out slaves from Africa through the Nigerian coast. And I tell you, when I saw that, oh, somebody is trying to match you, Jim. <laughs> I'm trying to match you, Jim, but for whatever reason, it's not going through. I promise I should do. I promise I should do that later. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll go back over to uh, YouTube here. I, I shut it off um, when I go <laughs> and on to the in the in the studio room, but uh, I'll go back over in super chat right now and see if we can get that done. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I, I know mother, I know the true life stories. She will she will get that done as she has promised. Thank you so very much, you mother. <laughs> so what actually happened is that Jean, that video, I think based on this discussion, I will quickly see if I can get to it because I want to work on it villages by villages. I want to be true with Abel Kuta before I now enter the slave story. The slave story where they hung my people, where they they massacred them where they put uh what was it called they put the, as in they branded their chest with hot irons i saw all those things i carried the way the chains i was crying that how can some few 50 persons kg on the neck? On their neck 
So when you see, <laughs> it's because we we are well exposed. We love God and we believe in forgiveness. It's not all Africans that have that capacity to forgive so when i see people still living in the past shadow of unforgiveness i understand where they are coming from but on this channel i want to try as much as possible to reach out to those people that they should just let go what has gone is the forefathers of the of some white race that did that to us we should not now take that up with the children that do not even know anything about it what we should do is to see on how to develop our children because they took our strength they took the strength of africa from us the the people they were taking were the agile able-bodied men the agile able-bodied men they took them out of the continent and they left the people that we can say they are not so much useful the people that we can say they are not not so much useful useful to the war to africa they left them behind and that explains why we might be having some jokers ruling this country <laughs> you understand so uh that will be a story for another day but i want to tell you that the the way we have been traveling i'm so glad that uh jim barak you and some other persons saw into this vision and you decided, wow, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much, Madam True Life Matter and uh, Jim. You Thank guys, you. you guys have just done wonderfully well uh, with this contribution that is coming in. What you are simply doing is that you are giving us the opportunity to be able to take care of more, uh, what's it called, travels travels to these villages where they do not have access to phone if you are waiting for some of these youth that we helped in these villages they will never be able to reach us because they don't even have access to internet mm -hmm. they don't and have access to internet boy. they don't have access to phone and they cannot they cannot get the help unless we travel down there to go and help them so mm -hmm. this is where we found ourselves we need more support we want to go to countries in africa we want to go to uh, villages in nigeria there are so many villages in nigeria uh, thousands of them hundreds of thousands of them there are hundreds of thousands of villages in africa so we are looking for how to get more funds we we beg for organizations to partner with us uh, partner with us we can even do i don't believe in just taking uh, we can partner, you can partner with us. We can do free adverts for your businesses and do it as your CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. We can help you to do that while you support our funding for this youth. You take care of our hotel accommodations, our trans, uh, travels, our air tickets, our road tickets. And the help. And the help to, to these this youth. youth. I tell you, Jim. If you see the hotels I've been staying in, all this travel is on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, the hotel I've been staying in that could match the the little fund we have were on completed building. You know, it was in this hotel that they were renovating this hotel oh, that I fun. went to. That's where I saw this lady, lady that was part of the uh, brick layers. That was where I was able to get a story. So in every challenging situation, I pick out a good opportunity to help people. So please, it's not just about us. We, we can still continue to manage in low-class hotel, but I hope one of these days we'll not end up in, a, in an hotel with bed bugs. <laughs> because that was a particular hotel. That was a particular hotel we got to. When I saw the bed sheet, I screamed and I ran. <laughs> <laughs> so but it's all about us helping this youth please and please the <laughs> please and please everyone that is watching this video help us we want to help our youth and we want to help our youth and uh, we really want to do this not just by talking we want to go to these villages sponsor our travels to these villages give us enough backing so that we can uh, you can use any of this information being displayed here 
um just support us in one way or the other share our videos if you do not have money share our videos if you have uh, a skill that you can train our youth and for video free, editing skills. yeah please come over train our youths you can do some video training sent to us so that we we go there maybe we, because they don't even have internet in those villages maybe we burn it to a flash and play it for them to see we just need people that we just love to help this you because if we fail to help this you this youth will burn the countries down in the nearest future which we don't pray to get to that point so um with that i want you g to give us your your parting word because we are, we, we are trying to round up uh why we are trying to round up is because i came in today i just came back from the travel today if you look at my eyes <laughs> you see much very without much rest but i said we must just do this live stream okay thank you yeah yeah it's really important that uh people see that you know, when Dale goes traveling like this, he's risking his life. You know, uh, there's there's times that uh, I uh, I wonder how he gets to where he's going, and then come back so happy after seeing so much sometimes despair, and you know, but finds more and more hope every time he goes, and so that's that's the beautiful thing. Um, and I'm excited to see the Fantastic Four's new place. That's gonna yeah. be awesome. Those are okay. those are a true. That is a true, real uh, goal of the Cetra Foundation to 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 really have a long term goal like that. Long uh, that just shows that uh, you know that the heart is in the right space. And I'm also very much uh, involved with that. I want to always be there for those little ladies and that gentleman, that little guy. <laughs> Let me let me him. let me tell you something. Oh, my my power, solar power went out. My solar power, power went, went on because it's low. Yeah, yeah. You can okay. pull up because it's low. I think I need to increase the number of batteries. Yes, mm -hmm. I need to increase number because of we are batteries. entering uh, raining season. Because we are entering rainy season and there is no so much, much sun, so I will have to increase the number of batteries. Um you know the funnest of i have not shared this with anybody do you know that one of the babies one of the fantastic book uh four babies just had an operation oh did just what kind, just of, had an what operation. kind, what kind of operation uh, i think I, I will have to find out what the from the this thing but the, she's now doing the well. medical grandma in that operation was so much so mm. all right i don't know how to do it so uh, I will be talking about that when I'm showing that location because tomorrow I want to go and inspect. I've asked them, I told their dad that he should not pay till we have inspected it and I want to show it to everyone. I want to make sure that it's in a good location, then mm -hmm. we can now pay, yeah. Thank you so it'll... very much. <laughs> oh, it's okay, go ahead. No, she wanted us to round up because we have just one percent more. <laughs> okay. On our on our laptop. I talk to you soon next week. Hey, Jim, we are so glad. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everyone. True Anita. life, true life story. Oh, somebody is here. Alice, God bless you, sir. My Jesus, thank you. God bless you. True life, true life. Ah, it's over. Everybody, see you next week.